welcome back to video three in our Conservation Clips series, How to Start Native Plants from Seeds. So in our first video, we told you all about native plants and their benefits and helped you choose what kinds you wanted to meet your goals. We also talked to you about how to stratify or uh, scarify or imbibe your seeds to get them started. Now that you've ordered your seeds and you've picked them, today we're going to tell you how to sow them and how to get your plants started. We'll talk about wintertime sowing directly outdoors or in pots. We'll also teach you how to plant your seeds indoors if you're going to start them in the early spring. And last, we'll teach you a little bit about how to prep your site and choose your location using organic site prep methods. Our first and easiest method of wintertime sowing is direct sowing outdoors. This can be done in Ohio anytime from December through the end of February. You take your seeds, and these are seeds that need cold, moist stratification, and you mix them with sand or a seed starting mix in order to get an even distribution. Then take your bucket of sand and seeds outdoors to an area that's already been prepped. So this would be an area where there's already clear of weeds and you broadcast your seeds and sand in an even distribution over the area where you want them to grow. This can be done before the uh, snow comes, or if it's already snowed, you can broadcast the seeds on top of the snow. Either way, you want to ensure that your seeds are pressed into the snow so they don't blow away or get easily distributed outside of the area where you want them to be. Then you sit back and let Mother Nature do its work on these seeds over the course of the winter. Another option for outdoor sowing that can be done again anytime between late December and the end of February is to plant your seeds in pots. We'll walk you through how to do that. And then you have more control over where your wintertime seeds are located, how your plants have actually germinated, and you can give them a little more protection from animals who might want to try to eat them over the cold winter. Another method of prepping your native seeds in the winter time is to sow them in pots. Supplies you'll need for this are your seed packet from your seed supplier, three or four inch pots. These are the biodegradable kind, but you can use plastic as well. And make sure that whatever you use has good drainage. And you'll need some seed starting mix or soil. So you can lightly moisten your seed starting mix and fill your pot almost to the top, but not all the way. And you might need to get a little bit more soil. So almost to the top, but not all the way. You can lightly moisten it there. And then take your seeds. These are butterfly weed seeds that are a little bit bigger. Um, and again, these are straight from the supplier. We have not done any pretreatment to them because we're going to be putting them outside. So that's going to be their treatment. And you can mix your, your seeds with sand ahead of time if you want. Or if they're big enough, you can just distribute them here about an inch or so from the top of the pot and try to evenly distribute the seeds. I'm not going to use all of those. So I'll put these back. And then lightly moisten again. And then cover the top of those seeds with just a little bit more soil. Uh, you could also use sand here again at the top if you have sand. And lightly press, and that's to keep the seeds from blowing away. Um, and protect them just a little bit. So you would repeat this process with the rest of your seed pack. Um, a nice plastic tray like this is a, is a handy thing to use for uh, transporting your seeds. And then you'll take this, uh, your, your planted seeds, cover them with uh, some sort of a mesh covering to protect them from birds or other animals outdoors, and then move them to a sunny location, preferably the south side of a building, uh, set them outside and let Mother Nature do its work. 
in the spring, you should have some little seedlings getting started. Many varieties of plants do well starting weeks before the ground warms up by planting inside. Some benefits of seed starting include being able to control the environment of your seed germination by maintaining a certain temperature, getting a jump start on the growing season, and for some varieties you can get a longer bloom season. It is also much cheaper than buying plants at the garden center. For some seeds, it's recommended to start them indoors because smaller seeds need a little extra heat to germinate. You only need a few tools for seed starting. A vessel to plant the seeds, good seed starting mix, and a warm sunny spot. Today we'll be using these tools. To start seeds indoors, first you want to check the last frost date in your area and plant indoors sometime before this date, depending on what your seed supplier suggests. To start planting indoors, first you want to add water to your soil mixture and get it moist enough so that it can be formed into a ball, but not too much so that it's runny. Like this. Next, you want to take your seed mixture and place it in each cell, filling it almost to the top. Once this is done, take your seeds that have already been prepped according to the seed supplier, as we talked about in previous videos, and place one to two in each cell, lightly dusting them with soil to cover them. So to finish up planting indoors, you want to take your cells with the seeds in them and place them in a warm area to help the seeds grow over the next few weeks. We're going to place these by this window so that the sunlight comes in and warms them. But you can also place your seeds on a, a warm heater or use a heating pad or even growth lights to help with this process. Whether you're indoor or outdoor sowing your seeds, don't forget to label them so that you remember later what you've planted in the pot. You can use the common or scientific name if you're familiar with that. And also put down the date that you've sowed the seeds. In order for a native planting to be successful, you must first properly prepare the site. Proper site preparation is a very important step. Native perennials are very slow growing and they're easily outcompeted by weeds. So make sure you manage any weed species prior to planting. Some weed seeds can remain viable in the soil for several decades and the dormancy of these seeds can be easily broken by any disturbance. So the site prep methods I will explain are the most effective to prepare a planting site and remove the potential for weeds. Sod removal works best for small plantings. You can remove the top few inches of grass and soil with a shovel and then plant in the bare soil. Smothering acts to kill any plants with heat and lack of light. Materials that can be used for smothering include tarps, black plastic, or cardboard covered with mulch. Whatever material you choose to use, you have to make sure that the sides are secured by either burying it or by using a heavy object to hold it down so it doesn't blow away and so that aggressive weeds can't push the barrier up from the ground. In a lawn, this method can provide adequate results in just a few months. But in areas where weeds are persistent, an on again, off again cycle must be used. So for this on again, off again cycle, you can put your barrier down for four to five weeks to kill all the underlying vegetation. Then you'll remove the barrier and allow the weed seeds to germinate for one to two weeks. Then replace the barrier and keep repeating this process for an entire growing season. And then you can sow your seeds in the fall. Solarization works by using a clear plastic barrier to capture heat 
and warm the soil to temps of up to 140 degrees. This high temperature will kill weed seeds along with any unwanted pathogens in the soil. This method takes four to six weeks to achieve adequate results and it works best on ground that it has already been tilled. Repeated shallow cultivation is best for large plantings and if you have access to a tractor and a disc. This process works by repeatedly disturbing the soil for an entire growing season in order to expose the weed seeds, let them germinate, and then disc again to kill them. There are several different organic herbicides available that are much safer to use than chemical-based ones. These organic herbicides use components such as citric acid or clove oil to kill weeds prior to a planting. Look at all of the qualities of your site before choosing your site prep method. Make sure you choose a method that fits best with the materials available to you, the size of your site, the slope of your site, and the amount of weeds currently present. Establishing a native seed planting takes time and patience, so make sure you do your research beforehand to avoid any delays in your garden's progress.